Apple iPhones are considered secure devices, but that doesn't mean they aren't open to hacking. And yesterday, Google Project Zero's ethical hackers showed just how easy it can be to access your iPhone or iPad without your knowledge. Armed only with a user's Apple ID, security researcher Samuel Gross was able to remotely hack an iPhone within minutes, stealing passwords, text messages and emails. Leveraging just one vulnerability labeled CVE-2019-8641, Gross was also able to remotely activate an Apple iPhone's microphone and camera without any interaction from the user. In simple terms, this means an attacker could gain access to your iPhone without you clicking a malicious URL. First things first, this vulnerability was fixed by Apple, so it's not a danger to you any longer unless of course you have avoided applying iOS updates on your phone. CVE-2019-8641 is a name given to the remote memory corruption vulnerability Google's Gross used to take over an iPhone with just an Apple ID. The issue was originally discovered and reported to Apple as part of Gross's joint project with Natalie Silvanovich back in July, with a proof-of-concept exploit published in August. The vulnerability was first dealt with in iOS 12. 4. 1 on August 26 when Apple made the vulnerable code unreachable over iMessage. It was fully fixed on October 28 last year when iOS 13. 2 dropped. Multiple other Apple vulnerabilities have been found by Google's Project Zero over the last year. For example, in July it was revealed that a vulnerability in Apple's iMessage could render an iPhone useless and force a factory reset. Also in July, a vulnerability was discovered that could enable an attacker to read the files on an iPhone without having physical access to it. The Google Project Zero blog reveals more details about Gross's research, which was first unveiled at a hacking conference in December. It's part of a three-part series, which the more technical among you might enjoy delving into. The video of Gross's talk is available for those of you who like a visual accompaniment. In the blog, Gross showed how a data randomizing security feature called ASLR, which is meant to protect against exploits, is not as strong in practice. He demonstrated how an attacker could set up a side communications channel to interact with a user's device, 